In this video, we'll show you how to set up your Amplify router for use with Rescue POS. First, we'll cover the very basics of networking, then we'll jump right into the setup. The Amplify is an all-in-one access point and router designed for use in smaller venues such as cafes with a few POS stations. It features a simplified setup, a small size, and since it's also an access point, it needs to be placed in proximity to your POS stations. Networking Basics Let's start off with some basic definitions, as this is the terminology that will be used throughout the video. Local Area Network, or LAN. The local area network is your on-site network connecting all of your Rescue POS tablets and printers together. The POS local area network is managed by your dedicated POS router. The devices on your network connect to the router using LAN cables, also called network cables, or they connect over Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a radio signal between your router and a device such as an iPad that creates a wireless connection and takes the place of a network cable. The internet. The internet comes from your ISP or internet service provider through a modem. The internet is what allows devices such as POS tablets to connect to remote computers like your credit card processor or the rescue servers. Your local network is the backbone of your POS system, connecting all of your POS tablets and printers together. And the internet is what allows you to reach outside the local network to the web. It's important to understand the difference between local network, Wi-Fi, and internet in case you have to do some basic connection troubleshooting. POS network requirements. You may already have a network set up in your restaurant, but Rescue POS requires a dedicated POS only network. For this, you'll be utilizing the Amplify router. Because of the sensitive nature of POS transaction data and for PCI compliance, your dedicated POS local area network must not be used by guests, staff, or any non-POS hardware. Network organization tips. It's important to keep your network area organized for reliable performance. Tip number one, because the Amplify router is all in one, it needs to be placed in an area central to the POS tablets where they will get a good Wi-Fi signal. Every situation is different, but some good placement examples are a well-organized shelf just below the counter where the POS stations are, or a well-organized shelf on a wall behind the registers. Remember that Wi-Fi works best when it's within line of sight. Tip number two, keep your cables organized and your network from getting unplugged. Everything on your network requires power. If something gets unplugged, your network goes down. Tangled cables and equipment crammed into small spaces is the number one cause of network support calls that we receive. Please take the time to organize your cables to ensure reliability. Tip number three, label everything. Part of keeping your network area organized is to label your power cables, ethernet cables, and your network equipment. So if you or an employee calls in, our technicians can quickly help you resolve the issue. Of course, if you're planning your network setup and you have any questions, Call our support team and we'll personally assist you. Amplify Router Setup In the box, you'll find the Amplify Router, the Power Adapter, a Network Cable, and the Quick Start Manual. Wi-Fi Configuration It's important to follow these steps in the order recommended by the manufacturer. You can follow along in the quick start guide provided in the box. First, turn off your ISP modem. Next, run a cable from the blue internet port of the router to one of the standard ports on the ISP modem. Plug in the Amplify router so it's getting power. Then power on your ISP modem. It's gonna take some time to start up but at some point, the router will make a chime to indicate that it's connected. Tap the front touchscreen of the Amplify router to display the unique default network name. On the iPad, go to your network settings and connect to this default network. 
and it will show you the Amplify configuration page where you can give the network a name. We recommend Rescue POS. For the password, you can set your own, but we recommend that you call Rescue Support to get the same password we use so you don't have to remember it. Once you have completed setup on this page, connect all of your POS iPads to the new Rescue POS network. On your iPad, you'll go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and select Rescue POS. Type in the password for the network that you set. The iPad should now be connected, but there's two more settings to adjust on this screen for the best performance. Scroll down to the bottom and tap on Ask to Join Networks and turn it off. Then tap on Auto Join Hotspot and change it to Never. Exit the settings and open the Rescue POS app. Tap the gear to go to settings and scroll to where it says Preferred Wi-Fi Network. Tap to enable the permission. Allow access. Set to the current network Rescue POS. Now if the iPad is ever connected to the wrong Wi-Fi network, there will be a warning at the top of the screen alerting you. Connecting POS printers. Turn the printer off. Run a cable from the LAN port on the bottom of the printer to one of the ports on the router. The Amplify router has four network ports on the back that you can use to connect LAN-based printers. Turn the printer back on. And after a moment, the printer should print out its IP address. At this point, it's connected to the network. Network layout considerations. Because the Amplify router is a router and Wi-Fi access point, it must be centrally located to your POS stations. And this is perfect for smaller venues. However, if your ISP modem is located in another part of the building, you may need to run a longer cable through walls or ceilings to get it to where the Amplify router needs to be. Likewise, if you need to connect to land-based printers in a kitchen that's far away, you might need a long cable run to connect them. Rescue Support can provide basic instructions if you plan to run these cables yourself, but if this isn't your forte, we highly recommend that you contact a local commercial network installer who will be happy to add a network switch, wall ports, or run cables through the ceiling for you. In this video, we covered networking basics, how to connect your Amplify router to your network, how to configure the Wi-Fi network, how to connect your iPads to Wi-Fi, and what to do if you need additional help. Thank you for watching.